Hey guys, welcome back to the Ski Channel Switch Coding for Everyone. I'm St. R. Edwards. In this particular lesson in 2.9, Controls in Action, we're going to talk about completing actions programmatically. You know, I've been feeling you guys haven't been very appreciative of the work that IB Action really does for you guys. I don't think you appreciate it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this thing the hard way. All right, so we're going to start off by disconnecting the action on our button uh, for me it's called uh, the tap here button so we're going to disconnect it and we're going to reconnect it through code so this is what we're going to do so in your document outline make sure it's highlighted or you click on it in your um on your view and we're going to go over to the connections inspector and as you can see We've got the touch up inside uh, button or out or event that is tied to the button tapped. Go ahead and hit that X. So we hit the X and so the now the IB action is broken. So if you go back over to your view controller, you will be able to see that the circle is not filled in anymore. All right. All right. So now we need another way to reference our button and code. How do we reference our button and code now that you know we broke the the IB action. What do you use to reference something in code? Yeah, that's right. I heard somebody say it. An IB outlet. So that's what we're going to do. So go back to the storyboard. And we're going to open up the assistant editor with our uh, button. And we're going to create an IB outlet. And I'm going to make some space real quick. And I'm going to drag it up there. So with your tap button or your button highlighted, whatever you called it, we're going to control and drag or right click and drag to the view controller at the top. We're going to keep the connection as outlet. We're going to just name it button. So since you guys don't have appreciation, we're going to do this thing the hard way. All right, close out of it, hit the standard editor button, and then go back over to the view controller. And this is what we're going to do. Um, so the best way to put our code, the code that we need, is to put the code in the, in the view deload function. So I'm going to get rid of this comment here. I don't need that. And so what we want to say is this. We want to say uh, button dot add target. So this is what we want. So as you can see from the bottom, it says associates a target object and action method with the control. So we're going to select this one. And we got three arguments. Okay, so we have the target itself, we got the action, and then for the UI control event. So the target is going to be self because the view controller is what currently owns the, the action, right? The action is tied to the button tap action. It's tied to the view controller. So the owner is going to be self. Now, when you type self, you can see view controller pops up. So self will be the owner. All right, so we're going to hit enter. Um, the second argument is action. So the syntax that Swift uses to call uh, to call a method um, that controls, you know, an action, the action that we're looking for is you use the hashtag symbol and then you type selector. And as you can see, we, we got some stuff that popped up. So we got that. And so our our particular method is going to be, it's called button tapped. All right. So there it is. So you found it. And go ahead and hit enter for that. And then for the UI control events, it was, it's the touch up inside one. So we're going to hit dot. And we're going to say start typing touch up inside. So in case you didn't know what it meant before, a touch up event in the control where the finger is inside the bounds of the control and then you lift up, touch up inside. All right, so we're gonna keep it like that. All right, so now we're gonna build and run our app again to see if it worked. So we know that we don't have the IB action connected anymore to the actual button tapped. We just did this you know, another way, the hard way. So you guys can learn some appreciation.
And uh, so we're going to see if our if our code still runs. So all we wanted to say is when we print uh, or when we tap the button, it's going to it should say print button was tapped. So so let's see if, if that still works. All right, I'm going to tap my button now. There it is. Button was tapped. It worked. Cool. All right, guys, so that's it for this lesson. Make sure you guys do the lab and the questions at the end of this lesson. You know, things are getting more and more challenging, but that's a good sign. You made it this far, that's a good sign. Stick with it. You can do it. If I can do it, if my crazy self, my slower than snot self can do it, you can do it. All right, so just stick with it. Uh, the, the reward is great. All right, this is St. R. Edwards here, checking out from the Ski Channel, Swift Coding for everyone. You guys take care.